Hi everyone! Today, for our 8th Art at Home, we are going to be doing another form of printmaking. So, the marbled paper that we did last week was a type of printmaking, and today we are going to learn a different type. For this project, you're going to need some white paper, you're going to need some washable markers, some water-based markers, so anything that's washable is good. A piece of plastic, I'm using the top of a takeout container, so the top of like a sandwich container, but anything that's plasticky like this will work. And then I have a bowl of water, just a very little bit of water, you don't need a lot, and then some paper towels. And you can use um, a sponge or you can use a rag if you don't want to use paper towels. For this project, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking our Crayola markers and we're going to be using them to draw on top of our plastic. And then we're going to take our plastic and we're going to stamp it down on top of a piece of paper. So we'll turn our drawing upside down and press it on top of our paper so that our drawing goes from here to here. We're going to use the water for that and the paper towels to make our paper wet so that the drawings stick to the paper. A cool thing about using the plastic is that if you have a picture or something that you want to trace onto the plastic to print it onto the paper, you can put the drawing under the plastic so you can see through it and it makes it easier to trace. If you don't have a picture or anything like that in mind, you can just draw anything you want right on the plastic. All right, so I found this picture in a magazine that has these trees and a mountain in the back, and there's some shadows from the box, but the picture itself that I like has the trees and then some water and a reflection. So I'm gonna use that as my background, and I'm not gonna make this perfect. The drawing that you make doesn't need to be perfect because you can go back in later and add more to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, with my marker on top of my plastic, draw as best I can where I kind of see the, the picture through the plastic and I'm going to try to draw what I see and just try to do your best to keep the plastic from moving. If you need to, you can tape your picture down a little bit. So this is kind of where I'm seeing. So I've drawn some tree trunks in and then I'm going to go in with my green marker now and I'm going to kind of add the branches in and I'm not this is not going to look exactly like the drawing I'm just kind of getting the general shape um, and placement of the tree branches you can obviously go in and do this as detailed as you want it to be that's up to you I just kind of want to know that I have trees all around here I have this tree over here and then in here, I'm just going to kind of go in and try to add some branches in where I see them, some leaves in where I see them. And that's kind of all over this whole area. So I'm just kind of trying to get the shape and then the size of each of these trees. And I'm using both the tip of my marker and then the side of my marker to get a little bit more color in there. Okay, so you can see that I've got some green going on in there and some brown going on in there. The next thing I'm gonna do is kind of work on some of these bits in here and then I'll be ready to print. So I added a little bit more detail onto there so you can see all my green and then I've got a little gray at the bottom and my brown for the tree trunks. and after you've got your drawing exactly how you want it, you're ready to print. So I'm gonna put that over here and then with this paper, I'm going to use my paper towel and my water bowl and I'm gonna get the paper a little bit wet. So with this step, you don't want your paper to be too wet. I'm gonna take my paper towel, dip it into the water, squeeze it out a tiny bit so it's still kind of wet on there but it's not dripping wet. After that, I'm gonna take it and I'm going to rub it on my paper so that the paper gets a little bit shiny. All right, so I'm gonna hold down one side of my paper with my hand and then the other, I'm going to just lightly use the paper towel to make sure that the whole paper is a little bit wet. 
And once you do that, you want to go right away and make your print. So right now my paper, you can kind of see it's a little bit shiny, it's getting wrinkly. So you just wanna make sure that you're really spreading it out on your paper. And once your paper is just a little bit damp, you're gonna take your plastic and you're gonna flip it over and put it on top. So I have my paper nice and wet and then I flipped this over and I'm just gonna drop it down on the paper. Once you put it down, you're gonna do your best to rub everywhere that you put marker so that it goes right onto your paper. And you wanna make sure, try your best to not move the plastic because if you move the plastic, your picture is gonna move a little bit on your paper. So just really make sure that you're pressing down everywhere that you put marker on the plastic. And luckily it's plastic so you can see exactly where you need to be. Once you're done, you're gonna very carefully and quickly pick up your plastic, and you can see that the drawing went right onto the piece of paper, and it's not on the plastic anymore. So now with this drawing, I'm gonna let it dry a little bit, but if I wanna go back in and I can look at my magazine picture, and I can see what other details I need to add, if there's any other details I need to add, or if I like it, how it is. I might with this one go in and add some water and then maybe some sky up there. And I might go back in and add with some black marker, maybe a little bit more detail in the trees. But the basic idea here is that you're using this method to get a drawing onto your plastic and then you're transferring that drawing onto paper. After you use your plastic for your print, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take your paper towel and just wipe it off to make sure that there's no extra uh, marker on the plastic. So we can see here, I had some extra markers still on the plastic. So if you wanna do another print with this plastic and you wanna pick another picture to draw or maybe the same picture, just make sure that you really wash your plastic off with a wet paper towel and then dry it before you start doing any more marker on it. It needs to be totally dry before you add marker to it. I hope you guys have a lot of fun with this project. I hope you make some really cool stuff. Please send me pictures of your finished work. I can't wait to see what you guys make. Bye everyone. Miss you.